Oh, there it is. Look, it's right here. <laughs> it's just like handing it over to me. Pokey pokey. Oh, it doesn't respond. Oh, the fight's on anyway. Don't, don't attack, just poke. Find some tricksters. Let's find some tricksters. Let's find some freaking tricksters. Gotcha. Done, done, done. Still, still don't get the poking thing. I was today's years old when I learned you can do that. Oh, to, to hide the quest? Yeah, I can't remember who I did it on. I had to do it once, so I kind of remembered it. <laughs> can't remember what the quest was, but I had one quest, which I just didn't like seeing there anymore. Um... All right, so we've got... I could go back now, but I feel like I should get these done. Tear down this wall. Maybe I'll be able to buy like a sword or something. Hello there. Hey, leave that, leave that stone alone. I'm just gonna protect these, do I? You leave that stone alone. There's a 
Refresh Koffer. Treasure. Do I get it? Oh, I didn't get to loot it. Oh. Oh. Actually, let's have a look at the stuff that I've picked up so far. It might be worth... <laughs> might be absolutely worthless. Um, Disciple of War. It is... Ooh, this isn't worthless at all. This is, this is good. I'll take it. Plus three strength. Plus three vitality, plus three skill speed, some dexterity. Yeah. Yes. Skill speed determination. So, for me, I think determination affects the amount of damage dealt by both physical and magic attacks. But determination over. And direct hit rate. I think I'd rather hit things. Makes the rate in which your physical and magic attacks land direct hits, dealing slightly more damage than normal hits. As long as my vitality's up. Skill speed sounds like it'd be fun too. Bit of haste so I can cast more often. Makes both casting and recast time as well as the damage over the time potency of weapon skills, so... This is 2.49, for example. Let's click on that. Now it's 2.49. <laughs> oh, okay. Fantastic. Oh, man, what a big difference. Oh, man, that, that 2.49 from 2.49 to 2.49. Oh, man, it's going to save. Oh, it's going to make a big difference. A huge difference. How does it look, though? It's exactly the same look. Oh, it's the same look. Oh, a bit bummed that I missed out on that... Um, that last chest there. Let's see what it recommends though. It recommends I put a level 18 risk guard on versus level 1. That seems sound. I agree, I concur. Alright, another one down. Got two more to go. Blood in the water. The blood's in the water, folks. Nope, don't want to do that. I want to do this. Begin by surprising an earth sprite with a poke. What's with the bloody pokes? <laughs> what is with the pokes? Slash poke. I poke you. I poke you dead. I'm going to draw out three wicked souls. Look at these bold buzzards. We get three of them. 
no effect. Whoops. Oh. What the hell is that thing? What is that? It's a ball with a tail and wings. It's a wicked soul. I shouldn't be surprised at this point. I shouldn't be surprised. Was somebody driving a car? In this land full of flying elephants and... <laughs> Dancing elephants? I shouldn't be surprised. Cold-blooded business down here. Now that should give us more than enough flame seals to not only buy our chugabo, but to like outfit it with the latest fashions, the latest styles. Give it a sweet haircut. Make him look like Ungust. Ungusto. Zone. Oh, now this, this I can get on board with. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, uh, kind of. The front looks like crap. Not a fan of the front. That's not too shabby. Alright. What's my job here? Defeat it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my my prawns earn. Damn it. I'm a bit distracted by the motorcycle. My poor urn. Who else wants to fight? Can I heal it? Oh no, leave my urn alone! <laughs> Might have to redo this one. Battle Drake. Oh, we got two of them.
Hey, hey! No! Leave it! Oh, you bastard! Jeez. Just got there. Alright, let's go hand them all in. I know your name is Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. Mission accomplished, eh? I have your seals ready right here. Hand them over. Overall valuation. Difficulty. Speed. 173. Thank you very much. Thirty-eight. One thirty-eight. In the black. Yeah. Dun dun. Bum bum All right. So, and if I talk to them again, they'll just give me the same quest. Is that right? Yeah, alright. We can do them all again. Alright, but we've got enough. We've got what we need to get. So I can go back. Back to the steps. Go get that chocobo. Uh, which I guess I gotta go over here. Oh, that's right. The quest isn't showing up because I've got to pop this back on. Now it should show up and it should be green. No, it's not green. A flame chocobo issuance to Mimi Gun. So we got uh, weapons, armor, material, oh there it is, exchange 200 seals for a flame chocobo issuance, that's right, what the hell is material, they got materials. I can also get an all done soldier's cap. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. And look at my abs, everybody. They're there, I promise you. Let's see how the curve look like. Man, that's. It'll keep you dry, I suppose. Boots. Flame private. What, what's it look like down here? At the top end? Let's go to the top end. Let's look at the good stuff. When I'm a lieutenant or whatever. Where's the where's the champion gear? Alright. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, I don't know about this. How about those weapons? Surely the weapon looks good. Whoops. How many have we got? I've got 1,700. Oh, actually. Can I rank up? Promotion. Can I apply for a promotion? Oh, no. I'm just short. 
So if I get to 2,000, I can go up a level. All right. Anyway, let's get that chug of those. His face when he's running. Uh, uh, sprinting. Look at that face. Sprinty for oh my god, you've got something that belongs in bloody Bloodborne. Holy crap, look at that thing. Actually, I saw somebody walking around with a weapon in um World of Warcraft Classic recently. Looks like it's straight out should be it belongs in a Souls game. Want a birdie, should you say? Then I'll need to see your flame chocobo ish once I did. I've got it. Here you go. Present this deed to the Immortal Flames Company stables to receive your own chocobo! Can I get one of those masks as well? Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with your chocobo. Oh, look at it. And here he is. This fellow has been in high spirits the past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. And uh, now then, to make it official, you want to give your noble steed a name. Oh, do I? Que. Your name is Que. Que. That's your name. But if we translate that to English, it's Bezza. <laughs> hey, Barry, what's happening, mate? Quick, quick! Hey, what the? We called him Barry, he just, he just ran away. What the hell is that? Um, alright, so. Uh, where do I find you, quick, quick? General? Do I summon you? Oh, maybe I gotta talk to you first. And then you'll tell me the rest of it. <laughs> I dare say. Well, he ran right. He ran away, mate. He ran into the desert to die. I don't know if he likes it. Not sure. Here is your very own Chocobo whistle. Simply blow into it, and your feathered friend will come bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when summoning crowded city areas or monster infested lairs. Chocobos are stout hearted creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with your Chocobo Rider's License, as is required by law. And that concludes all of the formalities. I wish you and your Chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. Ah, oh, Chocobo Whistle. Small hand-carved whistle that emits a high, unique, high-pitched tone, discernible only by a Chocobo trained from birth to recognize and respond to the sound used to summon your personal Chocobo. My little chocobo. Aww. You can use a chocobo whistle to acquire the action to summon your personal chocobo. Unlike rental chocobos, there is no time limit regulating how long you may remain on a chocobo. Remember, however, there are areas such as highly popular. The action to summon your chocobo can be set to your hotbar and is located good. Chocobo armor or barding can be equipped via the companion interface. Situated in your character section of the main menu. Alright, so we've got a whistle somewhere. Which just exploded. Great. Just threw it up in there and it blew up. Uh, and then somewhere here, I've got a summon chocobo, I guess. Somewhere here, there's a summon chocobo. Somewhere, I see, there's a chocobo. Companion. Displays information. Chocobo saddlebag. Oh, right. I can throw stuff on my chocobo. Mount guide, born and bred. Oh, okay, so there's a mount. There's a mount section somewhere. Mount guide? No. Yeah. Oh, here it is. 
And then I can do... Uh, I think that'll work. Yep. Alright. So the mount guide is like my list of mounts. <laughs> okay. And then I got a companion menu, which should be accessible from here somewhere, I guess. Companion. So I don't have to keep opening this up. Alright, it is mount time. So, Geisal Greens. A leafy vegetable indigenous to the Near East, while too bitter for most people's tastes, Chogovas are known to enjoy the flavor and thus the greens are often used as fodder for the animals. Duration is 30 minutes. Duration can be extended by a 60 by offering multiple servings. Um... Okay, then we got a skills thing here. I have no skill points, so I can't spend anything, but I can turn my Chogobo into a healer, an attacker, or a defender. I wonder if I can pop enough points in everything so it can do it all. And choose its appearance. I can give it an Uldan saddle if I want. Or not, just leave it, leave it as a plain Chogobo. Okay, so doesn't actually tell you what the Geisel Greens does. But I know when you summon it and you hop off it, um, you can then you sort of have it as like a, a companion. It'll follow you around and fight and stuff, so. But uh, maybe that'll be explained later. Alright, let's go. Let's go and see our friend, Minfilia, who just wants us to do things all the time. But he's happy when we're alive. Oh, that's right. Hex told me about what was in my inventory this whole time. <laughs> so I've got this way of going directly back to Minfilia, or back to Vesper Bay. I had no idea it was there. So, where do I get Geisel Greens from? From these people? They don't do anything, they don't sell anything, do they? Is there a farm? Somewhere I can buy them from? Just like a... General vendor or something like that? From a random vendor? Merchant and Mender. There's some guys for greens, mate. You saw them guys for greens, mate? I'm after a lot of guys for greens. I'm in the market for them greens, you see. Um, current stock. Potions. Omelettes. Cheese. Dark matter. Everything but the greens, eh? Interesting. You would have thought they would have given us like a handful of them. Said, oh yeah, here you go. Feed these. Stuff that in your chocobo. Alright, anyway. Let's go see Minfilia. Tataru, I really want that bloody coffee, mate. Still waiting. Apolimo, Ida, it's happening. Welcome back, Dan. Lady Minfilia waits for you within. Oh, it's gonna give me 300 seals, is it? Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know? Why, the recruitment officers are called to regale me with the tales of your heroics. The pride in his voice was palpable. We Scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, Dan. Now, when last we spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? 
Well, I neglected to mention that you have already met. Tataru, please show them in. This way, sirs. Oh, it's them. Bigo and Wedjo. Should be old. So this guy should be Wedge and the little guy should be Bigs. He should be Smalls. Bigs and Smalls. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Bigs. And I'm... God's man, spit it out, will you? Wedge at your service. I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven contraptions such as air airships grow ever more vital to the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we sons should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we needed the knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garlon Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow on behalf of the Scions. I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Like every soul here, I love Eorzea, and I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you oh, and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. Yes. She's been fulfilled. She's happy. Quest complete. That's all I had to do. I could have just done a dance. Would have done the same thing. Minfilia needs you to investigate the sylphs. Now, having set aside the formalities. Oh, thank God. We have a favor to ask of you. Uriange. Have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs. A beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones that worship the primal Ramu. Ramu? Gizzle greens? Ahem. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I what? I am grateful. That was not by choice. She forced me to nod my head. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. 
Is that not so, Minfulia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida! Us! Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> A lot of fellas how they waddle a lot. <laughs> I just need those squeaky shoes or something. Alright, uh, speak with Vorsel Hulwa at the Adder's Nest. And do. What's she looking at? Stop looking at me. I'm gonna walk out this way. Be sus. Final Fantasy has fun music. Oops, running into a door. Alright, so. <clears throat> chocobo. Ah, oh, look at me, Chocobo. Look at me, Chokes. Hey, Chokes. My Chocobo's name is Barry. Yeah, Bazza. Big Bazza. Let him go. He's trying to fly. He's trying to learn how to fly. He'll get there. While I'm Chocoback, a Chocobo icon will appear in your status bar. Okay. You can dismount your chocobo at any time by right-clicking this icon or by re-clicking the action. <laughs> and off it goes. Righty gone, my chicken. Like I like that it flaps and swings. It's trying. It's trying very hard. But mate, if you could uh, shed some of that bloody plate armor, maybe we could take to the skies, but no. You want to weigh a thousand kilos? How the hell am I supposed to fly? Hey? Eh? How the heck am I supposed to fly, buddy? Get the frick off me. I'm out of here. It says. Um, Alright, so we've got to go all the way to uh, our, the land of the, the sylphs. The land of the Geishal Greens. The Geishal Greens. The Geishas. The Geishas. The Gilsas. The Geisels. All of the above. So let's do that. I've seen I've seen many chocobos. <laughs> yes. I've seen I've seen, I have seen big chungus. Gridania, new Gridania. Oh, oh, oh my God! Would you knock off that bloody light show, pal? You're killing me. I got my sunglasses on. Ah, oh, God! How do you get that guy out of here? Terrorist for my eyes. All right, so self management. Got to go over here. Oh, I can't mount up here. Fair enough. I would like to do all the side quests and stuff, but man, there's so many. So many. Well, at least it seems that way. In some areas it was cool, like when we went to... Uh, we we're out there in Thanalan. I don't remember which place it was. West of Thanalan? Yeah, out here. We did like all the quests here. That was a nice little story there. Yes, if I don't, if I don't focus, I'll never get to heaven's word. <laughs> but I would like to do all that stuff. We know far too little of the sylphs to lay any worthwhile plants. We must call upon the scions once more if we are to... Ah, beg pardon, it's just a terrible habit of mine to think out loud. But tell me, what brings you to the adder's nest? A bit of sylph management. Dun, 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 dun. 